didn't get a hold of uh, my email or information about Ted Nugent yesterday. <laughs> I'll give you the brief update, which is, I got an email yesterday, yesterday, two days ago, from a woman uh, who identified herself as a law professor. I, I so come to find out she's retired. But essentially saying Ted Nugent is coming, he's coming to the Expo Center. I think that's horrible to allow this man to spew such vile hate, etc., to be able to come to a public facility. And certainly a public facility that was where Japanese American citizens were housed, uh, the dichotomy of that or the, the, the juxtaposition of those two things is just beyond what makes common sense and decency. So anyway, so I fired off an email to President Hughes, the president of the Metro Council, because the facility is actually the Metro. And so I fired off an email to him, reiterating that. I didn't say cancel the concert. Purposefully, I didn't say that. But I suggested that uh, he was able to use his influence and do something to address this concert coming to the city of Portland and reflect that the city of Roses is not one that supports or condones that type of message. Um, long story short, I sent the email to a bunch of electeds here, um, some other folks, and uh, he received calls and emails, as did the manager of the Expo Center. And later in the day, and actually I got, I don't know how the Oregonian got my email, um, but there was an article posted, one of the, uh, Steve Dumas is his name, posted an article about this. Actually, it was very supportive and well done. Um, I have no idea how I got my email. Uh, and about 30 minutes after that article posted, I got a call from PAM, Dave and Matt, or Dave and somebody, some morning show. Uh, so I did a, a brief interview on the morning show. And it was, uh, they were supportive, which surprised me because it's the, um, who's the, who's the, the local Russian involved? What's his name? Um, Lars Larson. Lars Larson. Yeah, it's his station. So when they invited me to come on the station and I didn't answer, um, you could hear one of, I guess one of those talking to the producer, talking to me in the background, say, tell him we're on our side, we're on his side. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I did the, the radio interview. So long story short, um, I received a response back from the President Hughes of Metro, uh, essentially saying free speech, Lawyers say we can't do anything because we don't put political uh, expectations on our venue, and if you don't like them, don't come. So uh, I responded that I find it hard to believe that your lawyers have drafted into the boilerplate language of the contract an out to save Metro that would allow for exclusions based on either morality issues, uh, of behavior, or content that is you know, outside the bounds of what is appropriate, or actions that incite behaviors, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and so, uh, and thanks, but I'm not going. And uh, I haven't gotten a response from, from him, nor that I expect to. But I got a phone call from the manager, the GM of the, Met of the Expo Center, who said he's had a really tough two weeks, and so has his staff. Because they've been getting lots of phone calls and email about this event coming there. And none of his staff nor he are in support of that, but it's free speech. And he ran up to his leadership and their attorneys, and he was told that he couldn't do anything. I said, well, okay. And here's my question to you. If you tell me that you would allow the KKK and Farrakhan and the Nation of Islam to come and hold an event in your center, then I'm done with this conversation. If you can't tell me that, then we're not done. And he said, I really don't know. I, don't, I just don't know. I said, then you have no policy that you're following in a consistent manner if you don't know the answer to the question, so we need to keep talking. Um, and so I said, well, I'll give you a couple days to decompress after the concert, and then we should meet again. We should meet. So that's kind of where it is. Um, I, I will tell you, they got lots of phone calls from people like Senator Gordley, and others um, who express their concern. Now, you know, we can debate free speech all day. Um, 
but um, but I, it was a matter of raising the issue, starting the conversation about what is appropriate in, in, in a city in a government home venue. So that was really what my purpose of the email was. I didn't in the email I asked it to be um, canceled. I said you can try to do something about uh, using your influence to address these problems. So anyway, that's where it is. Um, I know that some stuff went around HRC and I appreciate your efforts and support. It was late last minute because I didn't know he was coming until the day before he was coming. So uh, as soon as I learned 